Hi, my name is April Rasa. The shorts course is about storytelling with a purpose, winning customers. To set the stage, think back to a major purchase you made, a car, an education, a home. Now consider how you made that purchase and decision. A change in your life caused you to investigate a big new problem or opportunity, a new baby, a new a need for a specialized training, maybe a job relocation, so you had to buy something. You put a plan together, perhaps with your executive, your spouse, with your priorities and a deadline that created urgency to buy now. And you conducted an evaluation based on a set of criteria to ultimately buy one product over another. In short, you traverse the buyer's journey by answering for yourself three questions. Why buy now? Why buy anything? and why buy you. As an enterprise software product marketer with experience at HackerOne, Box, JP Morgan Chase, Adobe, and a dozen startups, I've always been fascinated by companies that successfully create stories that align to the buyer's journey from awareness through consideration to decision making. In this course, we'll cover how you can create the ideal story, one that answers the three why questions through a compelling, airtight narrative. Our goal is to create a story that resonates so deeply with the customer that the storyteller is viewed as a consultative, trusted advisor, dedicated to helping the customer navigate the windy, twisty decision-making process from beginning to end. You'll walk away with an understanding of why it's critical to think about your narrative the key elements to consider when crafting your positioning. You'll learn how positioning, messaging, and value proposition work together to help you create a differentiated story for your ideal buyers. In this course, we'll cover the following areas. In lesson one, we'll cover the importance of creating a brand story and why it matters. Lesson two, we'll learn about the four elements that make up a compelling brand story. In lesson three, we'll cover how positioning, messaging, and value proposition actually differ. And in lesson four, we'll go over the key elements of your positioning strategy. Lesson five, we'll hit up what it means to build out a differentiated narrative. In lesson six, we'll discuss the effective means of a messaging criteria and framework. And in lesson seven, we'll bring it home and talk to you about how you can continue to drive success with your positioning across your organization. So in lesson one, let's talk about our objectives. You're gonna understand the power of storytelling. You're gonna connect stories to buyer journeys, and you're gonna know the why of your story. Let's get started with our first lesson on stories convey meaning. The internet and social media have made it cheaper and easier for brands to reach their target audience. And as a product marketer or a marketing professional, you're competing for that buyer's attention day in and day out. And in an age of distraction and unlimited choice, how can you help your brand break through? Stories. Stories can cut through the clutter, get the message across, and influence people. Stories can get you jobs, customers, partners, and investors. Too often, we are consumed by creating that Google Doc or a set of slides to convey our plans, and we lose sight of the story we should be telling to engage and influence our audience. Our digital screens have become the new campfires that we once sat around to share stories. So how can you use your digital screen campfire and the power of storytelling to make better connections with your audience? You connect with your audience through stories. Stories win customers and persuade buyers. Now, there are two ways to persuade your buyers. You have the conventional way of presenting the challenges and how you can help, or you can unite an idea with an emotion and connect with your buyer. Every consumer and customer asks three questions before they make a purchase decision. Why should I do something different than what I'm currently doing? Why should I do it now? And finally, 
why should I buy you? We'll come back to these concepts referred to as the three whys, but it's important to plant the seed here as a key pillar to how you can think about telling your story with a purpose. It's important to note that people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. This concept of the golden circle designed by Simon Sinek suggests that you start with what is that your business does. Once you've done this, you should move on to analyze how you do it and how you stand apart from the competition. This process will help you identify why you do what you do without simply thinking about profit. It also helps you to go beyond basic product and service descriptions. It allows you to really understand how you're providing solutions to the problems your customers encounter. Think of an example of a company that's doing the golden circle really well. A company that has done a decent job of connecting its positioning to the golden circle is Slack. Slack redefined the way teams collaborated and changed workplace communication forever. Let's break it down. The why. For Slack, everything we do, we believe in challenging the status quo and how people collaborate and communicate. From the beginning, Slack had purposefully set out to create an experience that felt different than traditional email. For the how, for Slack, their product is simple to use, it's fun, it's real time, it's instantaneous. The what, at the end of the day, they're a software company. Slack's tagline is where the future works. What began as an internal tool hacked together out of necessity soon became the most popular chat and productivity tool in the world, used by 65 of the Fortune 100. Lesson 1 Recap Stories set your organization apart. Form an emotional connection with your buyers. Start with the why. Your assignment. Identify a company that has done a good job of applying the golden circle principle to the development of its brand story. Break out the what, the how, and the why in their story. Describe what works and what may be a leap. You can refer to the course materials for a sample breakdown and case study.